I was about to make a soup, and I was going to throw this chayote in there. I bought it about three weeks ago, and uh, I just looked at it this morning, and I noticed that it's got a little sprout coming. <laughs> now, with the chayote, you don't need to plant the whole fruit in order to get a plant. So I'm going to cut out the... Um, I'm going to cut out the sprouts, cut out the seed, and I'm going to cook the flesh. Okay, this is how you would normally cut the chayote anyway. Just cut it in half, split it open, and there's the seed. If you just put this in the ground, it's already got some roots, see? Just put this in the ground, it'll grow. So that's what I'm going to do. In the meantime, I'm going to cut this open, cut this up. You cut out this uh, core. I'm not sure if it's bitter or whatever, but my mother always cut it out. And the skin is edible, so... After that, I already washed it, so after that, I'm just going to cut it up, chunk it. Now, I have tried, because um, this is a lot, so I don't know how this is going to work exactly, but um, it's not very good frozen. So I'm just going to put a few of these into my soup, because I like to freeze the soup, but... um. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. Maybe I'll just throw it in there and see if it makes a difference. If it's in, uh, in the soup. That's it, basically. Thanks for watching. Alright, so I got me some, some soil. Potting mix. I'm just going to tuck it in there. So this looks like it's the root. The root side. Since that's where the roots are. And it looks like probably this is where it's going to split. So I'm just going to stick it in there like that. And cover it up with a little extra soil. I'm not sure if I'm going to take it out to the greenhouse. Probably not, because I want to be able to keep a close eye on this. So, I'll update you when it starts to sprout. It's kind of a slow morning, and... Well, not slow, it's, it's cloudy. And, um... I guess I'm moving a little slow. That's what I mean to say. This is some butternut squash that I just cut open to make my soup. And I'm just going to plant about 10 of the seeds because I can't stand to see a seed and not plant it. I don't know what's the matter with me. Anyway, we'll see how this comes. I got to get rid of this crazy old sage orange that uh, came up, I guess it's a seed. And I left it there, I let it grow, I said... I didn't know what it was, and I just kept letting it grow. But this thing is crazy with thorns, and they they uh, grow up into the sky, and they they uh, I don't know. They look like giant um, monster limbs, like tentacles. I don't know if you can see how high it is up there. That's how high it is up there those crazy thorns. Last year I kept getting my head poked in by them. And um, if they would reach out to grab me, it was horrible. But there's a trunk right there. And I need to um, come down here and just cut this down by the, by the base. And hopefully I can dig it up eventually. 
So I'm supposed to go get my bees today. I set up the beehive, I fixed it all up and got it all straightened out, cleaned up, leveled. Um, hopefully I can get the bees in here without a problem. Um, I have a couple of things more to do. I gotta grease up this, this uh, tray put in the bottom here and stick it in the bottom here in the slot because that's where the um, that's where you put the varroa mite trap so the varroa mites they fall through there's a little a little screen on the bottom they fall through and they get stuck and then they can't crawl back into the hive um, but anyway I gotta clean that up I gotta grease it up stick it in the, in the hive and um, I'm supposed to pick him up tonight at 8, so it's going to be dark. I'm not even sure how that works. I think I need to, um, I think I need to either put them in tonight in the dark or else uh, wait until the crack of dawn. I don't know. I'm a little concerned. Um, the last time I had bees... Uh, the beekeeper came to my house and delivered them. He installed them. It was the middle of the day. So I don't know what the problem is with having to go at night or whatever. <laughs> I suppose that with him, he wants us to come and pick up the bees um, when the maximum amount of bees are inside the hive. And I guess that would be at uh, sunset or after dark, after it gets dark. And around here it's getting dark like fully dark around 8 o'clock so um, anyway I'm a little nervous but everything I'm sure will be fine <laughs>